I have a great respect for Rick Strassman's work. Um, if only uh, strategically. In other words, uh, I think that uh, uh, staying firmly within the scientific method is the way to go. And I think that for the international uh, intellectual scientific community to take this stuff seriously, uh, their science has got to be uh, at least half of the equation. And so uh, the way that Rick Strassman approached uh, DMT and, and that work and, and how he was willing to put up with years of red tape to, to finally just get a f one toe in the door and then a foot and, and, and to carry that work through a, as courageously as he did, uh, he's done us all a really good service because that door hasn't uh, shut since. You know, there have been other uh, important players in the psychedelic uh, movement, but I don't think anybody uh, was as uh, scientific as, as, uh, as Rick has been, at least not since the 1970s, because there was all kinds of serious science uh, with psychedelics in the 50s and in the 60s, and then it all became prohibited, which is actually something that's worth looking at, is just why is it that in the entire Western world these substances that uh, have been found to be so interesting by uh, hundreds of cultures for thousands of years are prohibited?